up? I just got back from my morning run trying to get back in shape because my physical health is something that's definitely been neglected over my schooling career. And as you can see, I don't run with headphones, one for safety, but two because it gives me time to think. And this morning on my run, I was just thinking about how grateful I am for the opportunity to be pursuing a career in dentistry and the cool experiences that I've had the last few weeks being in clinic full time, as well as kind of thinking about the last year or so and the things that I've learned and how just incredible the field of dentistry is and the many different procedures you can perform and how eye-opening some of my classes have been. It's cold out here though, so I'm gonna go inside. There are two experiences that I wanna share with you guys real quick that really were eye-opening to me and what I might want out of my career in the field of dentistry. The first was in our second periodontics class. Our periodontist walked us through some of the cases that she's done to restore function and aesthetics using implants. And in this class, in the Sim Clinic portion, we were able to place implants in a plastic mandible, which I thought was an awesome way to introduce us students to the procedure of placing implants. The second experience that I wanna share with you guys is when I had my rotation through the oral surgery clinic for a week. If you follow me over on Instagram, you might have seen those daily recaps, but I had a blast being in the oral surgery clinic and extracting teeth. Extracting teeth is a lot of fun, like a lot of fun. And so it got me thinking, if I enjoy extracting teeth this much, maybe I would really enjoy some of the other surgical procedures that oral surgeons Perform. So these two experiences over the last year really got me thinking, should I specialize? <sighs> well, the answer to this question that I've arrived at for myself is no, I don't want to specialize. I want to help you explore this question and give you some things to think about. The place that I would suggest you start is by shadowing a specialist. If you're intrigued by more than one specialty, shadow a specialist in each of the specialties that you are interested in. Shadow multiple specialists in the field. Talk to them about what they like, what they dislike, what their average day is. Your school might have residency programs and maybe you will have rotations through the specialty clinics, but Shadowing a specialist, even when you're in dental school, can give you a much clearer idea of whether or not you want to pursue that specialty. Being able to identify and focus on the aspects of dentistry that you enjoy most will bring you a much more rewarding and satisfying career in the long run. But there's more to consider than just the procedures that you'll perform day in and day out. You also need to think about your patients. Do you want to have long-term relationships with these patients? Seeing them every three or six months for years and years? Or are you okay relying on referrals from doctors around you and not seeing the same patients over and over again as can be more common with specialists? There's no right or wrong answer here. It really just depends on you and the goals that you have for yourself and your career. The best piece of advice that I can give to you dental students is to keep your grades up. That way you can have the opportunity or the option to specialize in the future. I know multiple people who hadn't figured out that they wanted to specialize until their third or fourth year right before applications were due. I also know multiple people that ended up going to a different residency program than the specialty they initially thought they wanted to pursue when starting dental school. Sometimes you end up having this eye-opening experience that changes the trajectory of your career and your life. But if you don't have the grades, 
those doors will either be closed or much harder to have open in the future. Something else to consider are the additional years of schooling and the costs associated with those years of schooling. I mean, <clears throat> I turned 30 this year. Do I really want to spend the next two to six years in a program after completing dental school? No, I don't. And that played a big part in why I decided not to pursue a specialty program. Plus, there are a lot of really cool and great CE classes that I feel like I can take that will give me the tools and the knowledge to perform the procedures that I'm interested in learning more about. But I'm still at the beginning of my career. I need to master the fundamentals and the basics of dentistry before even considering moving on to significantly more complex things. Not only is it more schooling, but it's another round of applying. Do you really want to go through the same stress that you did when you were applying to dental school? Figuring out letters of recommendation, filling the application out, writing a personal statement, paying for it to travel to interviews potentially, and then the stress and anticipation of waiting to find out if you get into a program? I don't know about you, but once was plenty for me. Along with another application cycle is likely another exam. Whether it's the CBSE, the ADAT, or the GRE, you've got another exam to take. Do you have the motivation to study and do well on that exam? For me, the answer is no. If I felt like residency was the only way that I could learn the procedures that I'm interested in, then yeah, maybe I would have that motivation to study for and do well on those exams. I just finished studying for and taking boards, which thankfully I passed, and I just really don't feel like taking another big exam. The last thing I'll add is this. You can always go into general dentistry and choose to specialize later. In fact, in a lot of ways, that could be the best way to figure out what aspects of dentistry are most appealing and enjoyable to you and then if that leads you to specialize, then you know exactly what you wanna be doing. Obviously, shadowing is an attempt to try and figure this out, but doing the procedures is much different than just watching the procedures be done. I hope this has given you plenty to think about and that it helps you get one step closer in deciding whether or not you wanna specialize. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments below and also tell me what specialty you're thinking of pursuing.